Hello everyone, John here, and I think it's time for another Drummer React on this channel. Now today, I have something really special to show you guys, because this video has been on the internet for quite some time, and it's been sent to me many times, but every time I saw this thumbnail, I was like... I fear no man, but that thing... It scares me. So yeah, I've been avoiding this video like vampires avoid daylight, but right now it is finally time to see what this is all about. The title is When You're Overqualified for the Job, so yeah, is this going to be smooth jazz, grindcore, god forbid, and Imagine Dragons cover remains to be seen. Alright, 3, 2, 1, go! That snare has a nice pop to it. This is the most ridiculous thing I've seen on the drums ever. It's a Japanese tune, kinda catchy. Oh, he's jamming. Ooh, little roll in there. Another roll. Keep rolling, rolling. Nice steady beat. Nothing too overcomplicated. Well, sometimes... Sometimes I just... I'm just questioning myself what I did wrong in my drumming career. And the thing is, I haven't been wearing a costume, that's what I've been doing wrong. Yeah, seems like a kindergarten show, I don't know, a kid's song. So far... It is what it is! That was one aggressive drum roll there. Okay, hold, 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 hold them, hold them, hold them right there, those horses, Japanese horses, okay, so, he's starting to go off a little bit, you know, that hi-hat work, pretty damn fast, and I just cannot imagine playing that fast with these tiny little T-Rex hands, it just seems like to me that some kind of an invisible hand just kinda injected some adrenaline into his body, and now he's just going with it, so let's see where this goes, I'm scared. Okay, the woman is enjoying it, currently, <laughs> a lot. Oh boy. Okay. <laughs> what is life? Okay, I need to hear that transition one more time, so... <laughs> How do you blast in that thing? I'm sorry, but this went from a kid's song straight up to metalcore, blast beats, double bass. Now, after hearing this, these kids have just skipped puberty, skipped growing up, and they go straight up to adulthood. Oh my god, this is too good. It's gonna be a freaking sauna in that suit. <laughs> It's actually a really fun technique that this guy or woman has. I actually don't know who's inside, so... <laughs> okay, now he's like playing Dragon Force through Fire and Flames or shit, some shit. How do you not mess that up with in that suit? And it's so clean as well. <laughs> Of course, I I'm just out of words right now. Jason Stedham, get the hell out of here, man. Oh no, it's staring right at me. I... my brain. My brain is flying through the universe and I'm just waiting for it to come back, yeah. Alright, so the brain is back from its trip through the universe and I can talk about this video a little bit. Holy moly, <laughs> that was something, that was when you're overqualified for the job. I still have no idea what this thing was all about, it's some kind of an event, you know, there was this woman on the left side enjoying the hell out of this show, and then this red bean kind of 
thing that, you know, it started playing like you would expect on this type of a show, you know, just slow, you know, steady beats, nothing too overly complicated, but then, you know, it started throwing these little, you know, just little by little, these fast fills and rolls here and there, then the hi-hat action followed, and after the hi-hat action, oh my, you all can already hear some, you know, double bass action as well, and when everything just comes together, then the build-up is like a metalcore breakdown, and after that, you know, the injected adrenaline starts working, and he's like, screw the kids, shit, man, I'm going full on... <laughs> And the thing is, the surprise factor is not just, you know, in the transition from the, you know, really easy stuff to the super speedy metal stuff. It's also that it's so well played, it's so clean, by someone who is in a huge suit. I have no idea how this person even sees anything in front of him or her. I have no idea how you can play double bass that fast with those little teeny feetsies and with those, you know, little tiny T-Rex hands, as I said before. And question number three, besides all the 997 questions that I still have about this video is... Was this meant to be like this or did the Big Red Bean just decide to improvise this, you know, on the spot? Or was he meant to, you know, just play the kids song the way... It's meant to be played, you know, just really simple stuff, and then, you know, clap, and you go home. Anyway, this was incredible, massive respect to whoever's in that suit, you did an amazing job playing in that thing, that fast and that accurate. That takes not only balls, but also a lot of practice. So yeah, guys, if you did enjoy this little reaction, please do consider leaving a thumbs up and subscribe for more stuff, because as you know, there is always more videos coming your way. And if you feel like talking to me outside of YouTube, there are links to my social medias down in the description below this video, as well as a link where you can directly support my channel and what I do here either via PayPal or on Patreon. And I also stream on Twitch. Link is in the description and in the schedule, you can see the times when I stream. So yeah, I'm just gonna cleanse my mind by practicing a little bit and thinking about my life choices and I will see you all in the next video so have a nice day evening night or whatever you have right now cheers